And now you can convert Figma design into a functional website with just one click. All of this is possible with this builder.io Figma plugin. What this plugin does, it converts the Figma design into Lovable.dev project. And inside Lovable.dev, you can of course connect Superbase and build a full stack application. And then simply just with one click, you can publish this application. Now, if you're not aware of Figma or you have never used Figma, this is a front-end design tool. We hire Figma designers to create designs. And after that, we hire front-end developers to convert those Figma designs into a front-end website. Most of the times when we're working on complex projects, we have like hundreds and hundreds of design files. And front-end developers convert all of those Figma design files into front-end code. This is a very time-consuming and time-taking process. And apparently this plugin actually solves that problem for us and convert the Figma design directly into code. There are a few other plugins that can actually convert Figma designs into code. But the good thing about this plugin, this plugin actually converts Figma design into Lovable.dev project. So let's just try this plugin and see how good or how bad this plugin is. The name of this Figma plugin is builder.io. You can simply just come to this URL and it's free to use by the way. You can do up to 20 monthly code generations in the free plan. To start using this plugin, just go to figma.com and look for builder.io plugin. You can search directly on Google for builder.io Figma plugin and then click on this link. Once you have linked your builder.io account with this Figma plugin, now you can actually access it in any Figma design. If you want to find some amazing pre-built Figma designs, just go to figma.com slash community and you'll see like a lot of people have made a lot of Figma designs which are absolutely free to use. I'm going to look for a dashboard design and you can see there are plenty of free dashboard design options here. I'll just choose this one particular screen that I want to convert. Simply just click on this screen in here where it is written dashboard one. After that, there is an optional step. You can simply just click on inside layout section. You can simply just click on use auto layout. Now what you need to do, now we need to use builder.io plugin in here. So simply at your footer section, look for this plugin icon and in here just inside plugin and widget section, look for builder.io plugin. Or if you have installed it already, you can see it here. So just look for builder.io plugin. I'll just click on that. After that, what it will do, it will just show this pop up in here and it will then show me an option to export this to code. Imagine if you have to like custom code all of this yourself. I mean, this is what we have we used to do with all of the projects because there used to be like a lot of design files and we used to like code all of those design files into front end code. And that used to like take a lot of time. When I say a lot of time, I mean months, like literally months. And in here, within just few clicks, we are able to convert this design into code. So it is actually doing all of these steps. If you see analyzing exported code, generate React components, generating more React components, make make them really good, okay. Setting up routing, okay, that's awesome. Configuring styles, optimizing for production, and then there is a finalizing project. So all of this is being done by AI. That's amazing. So now it has automatically opened this lovable.dev project. And now it is going to like create like all of that design for me in here inside lovable. And now this is what it has created. I see there are a few errors. There is a build error. I'll just try to fix this one and make sure that we get that exact design or not. All right, it says that error has been fixed, but still I think this is not what exactly we want. I mean, our design is something like this. Let me just click on publish and then, or maybe like simply just preview on a full screen. And this is not what we want, but it has like created all of these components separately. It has created all of these like dashboard elements separately. It has imported these icons and images in here, but still it has not copied all of this entire design from here to there. So that's one problem that we have. Let's try converting a simple design. Maybe this screen, let's just try to convert this screen. So I'll simply just click on this screen. After that, I'll just go to this plugin. I'll go to builder.io. I'll try to convert this screen and then click on export to code and then see how it works now. Let me just click on open in lovable because maybe like previous design was complex, but yeah, that's the whole point. I mean, we need to convert complex designs into into proper code. So the previous test was but not passed successfully, but let's see, this design is comparatively easier. There are not too many elements in this Figma design. Let's see how does it perform. So now it is just converting that design into code. And then finally it will create that Lovable.dev project. And then we'll be able to click on that project and then like open that inside Lovable. All right, it's opening this project inside Lovable. Okay, if you see, it is actually giving it a prompt, build a pixel perfect UI clone of this Figma design. All right, this is what it has created now. Let's just try to see it on, a, okay, this is not what this design should look like. This is what this design actually looks like. 
it has like all of these elements here it needs some alignments let's try to deploy this project and see like if if we can like have a better maybe like preview once we deploy it let's see even after deployment the design this is the reference design and this is the design that it has created okay let's just give it another chance let's just ask lovable.dev to fix this layout issue i see in this design the layout is not as it should be please fix the layout issues make the design more printable maybe for reference let's just give it a screenshot of what actual design actually looks like so let me just copy this copy as png let me just paste that inside lovable please see the attached screenshot this is how actual design looks like please fix our screen all right let's see now oh, this is like not what i want i mean i I, I had that impression because when I tested this initial landing page, so it worked, it, it worked kind of okay. So this was the reference one and this is what it is created. So, I mean, I was like, okay, that's cool. That's awesome. But as soon as like we move towards a bit more complex design, so it got stuck in there. So let's just see like how it, how it fixes it. Because if you ask for my opinion, okay, let's, let me just give you my opinion after I test this. Okay. Yeah. This is comparatively better. This is better now. Now it's more representable. That's fine. Yeah, and now it is acceptable. I mean, we can make further changing and like more. It is now, now like it is a little bit closer to what what we want. Not exactly where we. I mean, we we cannot. We, we are not seeing. Looking at like there's no concept of this line in the design, and then the. I mean, there are less options in here. It has kind of ignored all of these other options. In fact, if you see inside design, like you'll see like for each of these options there is layer every single element is there so it should have got that already automatically but it, it just hasn't but yeah this is the best that we got out of it i mean we can just like go back and forth again and then like convert like try to make it pixel perfect but this is this is not even close to i mean it, it, it did a good job in creating landing page it did like really good job in creating this copying this replicating this design but it failed at dashboard design i don't know why but it did it's a useful tool for a quick maybe like landing page designs it's a it's, it's a useful tool but when it comes to like complex designs maybe it, it's, it's not there yet all right so should i fire our front-end developers who convert figma design into code and like into actual react project i don't think so because they do a really good job and i, I don't think like this ai plugin is even closer to what we actually expect secondly Whenever you're actually working on a professional project, the clients are really, really focused on the nitty gritty details, like the very fine details, minor details. They want like, like fonts and everything like really, really up to the mark. I don't think that this like plugin is there. One more thing that I noticed, I mean, it's good to like, because I, my first test was actually with the landing page and it was good. And this is actually all of the YouTubers out there actually testing, creating like basic learning pages and stuff. But when you actually try to create like UI design of dashboard or something, so you, you notice that there are multiple screens that you need to create. All right. So like, let's suppose in this dashboard design, there are like 10 different screens, but it will create, will it create like separate lovable.dev project for each screen? That's not what I want. What I want is just like one love project. And then I want to like have all of the screens so I think they need to work on that. So it's a good initiative. Secondly, I think it, it should have like more options to, to like export code into more tools, like maybe like in bold.new, maybe like in cursor, maybe in windsurf. I don't think if it can actually work with cursor windsurf because those are not web-based, cloud-based IDEs. These are like native IDEs. It's a good tool to like just play with. You can create a couple of like good sections. I think individual sections you want to create, you can just like do that, then copy that code and bring that into your central project just do something like that but it's not there yet to convert figma design into like a complete figma design of an application that has thousand screens into like an actual project i don't think it's there yet and i think this entire kind of sensational news about like developers are going to be replaced i don't think so because the same kind of problem we actually face when we are developing like a full stack project so we see that most of the AI code editors actually get stuck in some problems that you need a like really experienced developer like at least mid-level developers to fix those problems so yeah i feel much more relief because i mean AI is not going to like replace us yet it's there i mean it's, it's just learning day by day but i mean we still got few years to fix our lives so i really hope you like this video i see you next video